everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do this really, really soft um, look. I mean, at least for me, this is really soft and I really like the way it came out. I know in my previous video, I said I wanted to do more soft looks because I really do so many dramatic looks here on my channel and this, again, it might be very dramatic for some of you guys, but it's definitely a lot more toned down than the looks that I usually do. So for this look, I'm gonna be using the Naturally Pretty palette. I believe this is the second one. I did use the first one a while back in a video. I'm gonna have that video down in the description box. It was my first time using a cosmetics, and after that, I've just been really obsessed with the brand. You can definitely do very dramatic or soft looks with this palette, and as you can see, there's a lot of mauves in there. You also have your browns, and I love the palette. It's really similar to the first one. Um, it is suede. I don't know. It's just it's the cutest packaging ever. For almost the entire look, I am going to be using a cosmetics. Also, for the previous video that I had done with this brand, I did use all the brown like on my face. And one thing that you guys did not see in my previous video were these brow pencils. It comes with so many shades, from light to dark. They also have like a red in there for people that have red hair. I will talk more in depth about other products I'm using, but these I was so excited about. You guys know what I'm like an eyebrow freak I mean lately I feel like people have been telling me that my brows are just like not on fleek you know and the reason for that is I've just been a little bit I guess more effortless with them which sounds really weird but I'm just kind of over that fake brow look but with this thing I feel like they look soft but they still look very perfect you know what I mean so I absolutely love this product but anyways I will be using mostly the whole brand on my face so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video so let's go ahead and get started all right, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my face. Not, not my face, sorry. <laughs> I'm priming my eyes using the MUA Makeup Academy Professional No Crease Eyeshadow Base. All right, so the palette that I'm gonna be using for this look is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Romantics Palette. And the first color that I'm taking is Desire. This is a beautiful kind of dusty rose, you know, like a light pink shade. And I'm using this as my transition color. The brush that I'm using is from Zoeva. I cannot remember the name because I just, I lost a brush. I don't know where it's at, but it's basically just a regular blending brush. After that, I'm going to take the color Sweetness, and this is just a very, very pale pink. Um, it almost looks white, so I'm just going to be applying this all over the eyelid, and I'm using my Zoeva 234 brush to do this. Now I'm going to go in with the color Embrace, and this is just a very light brown. This is going to lightly deepen up the outer crease of the eye, and I'm just applying this with the Smith 235 brush. And I'm really just focusing this on the outer crease, but don't blend it out too much. You kind of want to cut the crease a little bit. I don't know if you can see. It's not an intense cut crease, but it's like a soft cut crease, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to be taking the color Transforming Pro and I'm going to be applying this on the eyelid with my Zoeva 234 brush. What this is going to do is transform the other color that I put um, underneath. As you know, all the eyeshadows here are matte, so this Transforming Pro eyeshadow is going to basically give it that pearly look, you know, kind of shimmery, so that's what I did to my eyelids. Then I went back with the Smith 235 just to kind of blend everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the lashes with the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. I absolutely love this thing. It has like little fibers in it, so it's gonna make your lashes a lot more full and long. Now for my false lashes, I'm gonna be taking these lashes by Lena in the style Nayona. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. They're very, very beautiful, very fluffy and full. Moving on to the face, I'm going to go ahead and prime it using the Smashbox Primer Water, and yeah, that's basically what I'm going to prime my face with. So for my face, I'm going to be taking the A Cosmetics CC Creams, and I'm taking light and medium. I'm mixing these together because I want to look a little bit tanned, and I absolutely love this, um, I was going to say foundation. It pretty much works like a foundation. It's very, very full coverage and it has SPF of 50 in it, and I just, I love it, honestly. It's like, it doesn't feel like you're applying a CC cream. It, it feels like a heavy, found, not heavy, but like a full coverage foundation. And I used to use it so much before, but I ran out of it, but now I have more, and I will be using it a lot more now. Mm -hmm. 
For concealer, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the color Light. And this is very full coverage. I really like it. This is definitely going to conceal your under eye circles. And I'm blending this out with the Beauty Blender. After I'm done blending out the under eyes, I'm going to take the rest of the product on the forehead, above the nose, and chin just to kind of highlight the center of the face. You don't need extra product. This thing goes a very, very long way. Okay, so to set my face, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and this thing is no joke. It will blur out your pores. I'm using the sponge that I came with, and I'm just applying this right on the cheeks where I have the biggest pores, of course, and I'm also going to take this underneath the eyes. I feel like it kind of blurs out the wrinkles as well. So basically what I'm doing is really concentrating this powder where I apply the concealer, and then after that, I'm going to go in with a bigger brush and set the entire face. Now to contour my face, I'm taking the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and I'm taking the color Medium Cocoa. It's just like a cool toned um, brown and I'm just applying this underneath the cheekbones and I'm using my Morphe M459 brush to do this and notice I'm curving it in just to kind of lift the cheeks. With that same brush, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. Going in with that same contour shade, I'm going to go ahead and do this on my forehead. If you have a small forehead, this is not um, something you need to do, but for me, I have to. So now I'm just going to take this dark cocoa eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, bronzer, and I'm going to go ahead and bronze the face, and I'm using the It Cosmetics number 7 brush to do this. I'm just applying this a little bit above where I applied the contour, the cheeks, and on the forehead, just kind of diffusing everything. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking the It Cosmetics Brow Power Lift, and this is for your brows, but I'm going to be taking the Pearl Eliminator side, and I'm going to be applying this in the inner corner of the eye just to give my eyes a nice highlight. Then using the Zoeva 234 brush, I'm just going to go in lightly and blend it out so there won't be any harsh lines. Going back in with the It Cosmetics Brow Power Lift, I'm going to be taking the matte illuminator side and apply this on the waterline. And this again is for your brow bone, but I'm applying this to open up my eyes and then I'm going in with a color Hope from that same palette. This is basically like a skin tone color and I'm going to set the waterline with this so the eyeliner will not move around. And I'm just applying this with the angled Morphe MB11 brush. With my Morphe MB18 pencil brush, I'm going to be grabbing the color Desire. This is the eyeshadow that we used as a transition color. So I'm just basically applying this underneath the lower lash line, just really blending it out. Now with the Morphe MB11 angled brush, I'm going to be taking the color Embrace and just applying this underneath the lower lash line. And I'm being like really precise with this. You don't want to really blend it out completely. This is just going to kind of define the lash line. After I got that done, I'm going to go ahead and coat the bottom lashes using the A Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. Now time for my brows. I'm going to be taking the It Cosmetics Brow Power Super Skinny Pencil in the color Dark Brown. I really love these brow pencils because it is very thin so it's very easy to create like little brow hairs. I love this thing and it comes with seven different shades from light to dark. Like I said in the intro, they also have like a red for people to have red hair. Mm -hmm. 
to clean up my brows, I'm going to be taking the It Cosmetics Brow Power Lift with the matte illuminator and I'm basically just going to go underneath the brows and after that I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my Zoeva flat brush. With that same Zoeva 234 brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab the color Peaceful and apply this right on the brow bone. And I'm basically just going to set that, not concealer, but that brow product that we use to clean up the brows. Now to blend everything out, I'm going to be taking the Zoeva 221 brush. This is actually the brush that I couldn't find, but now I found it. It's the Zoeva 221, like I said. And yeah, just pretty much blending everything out. Now time for some blush. I'm taking the ColourPop blush in the color Birthday Suit. I like this blush because it's very, very soft and I was going more of that for that soft look. So I'm applying this with my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe number no. 8 brush. Moving on to highlighter, I'm taking Soft and Gentle by MAC. I haven't used this highlighter in forever, but it's very soft, soft and gentle, just like it says. And I'm applying this on the highest points of the cheekbones. I'm using my F35 Sigma brush to do this. I'm also applying this on the nose and also on the cupid's bow. Now to line my lips, I'm taking the J-Cat Beauty Lip Liner in the color um, Natural. And after that, I took the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color Baywatch. Yeah, Baywatch. It's a very nice, soft, kind of dusty rose color. It definitely looks a lot more pink, I think, like more bright on the camera, but in person it's a lot more toned down. So that is it for this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!